Hello, my good people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been away for some time, but I'm back again in another exciting video. Hope you are all doing fine. I'm Esther from Esther Farm. And if you are new here, kindly subscribe, like, share, and comment. And let me know how you think about this video. Welcome and watch till the end. May God bless you. So many factors that can lead to cannibalism in poultry. And the first one is overcrowding. Bats should, not, should have enough space so that they can move freely and they won't get time to peck each other. When the coop is so much congested, that is when you find that your birds peck each other all the time. At least in one square meter, you should keep four birds. So do not squeeze your birds so much to avoid all this. Another thing is excess heat. Make sure your coop is well highlighted and also well ventilated to avoid excess heat. That can also lead to cannibalism because excess heat will cause stress and they end up pecking each other and also deaths in your poultry farm. Another point is uh, excess light. This can also lead to cannibalism. Make sure you switch off your light at night to reduce excess light to be able to avoid cannibalism. Another point is absence of feeds and water and also enough drinkers and feeders. Water should be always there and clean water and also drinkers should be enough. Failure to this, you will find your chicken pecking each other. Also, feed should be there. You should feed your chickens a well-balanced diet and put all nutrients needed. You find that some feeds uh, we buy, they are not mixed well and they lack some nutrients needed. And that is why the, uh, the chickens end up pecking each other. So make sure you put enough feeds and you keep your birds pool that will avoid a lot of pecking. Shortage of laying boxes can also lead to pecking. So put enough laying boxes in your chicken house in order to for you for your chickens to get somewhere they can lay their eggs and this will reduce cannibalism. Also, you should not allow injured birds to remain in the frog. This also can lead to cannibalism. And if it has a wood, all the birds will peck that particular place. And if you, you are not allowed, you will find that the bird is dead. Because they start pecking all of them. And before you notice, you have lost your bird. Also, introducing new birds to the frog can also lead to cannibalism. This really happens so much when a new bird is introduced to the rest of your, of your birds. They start pecking. Like in my case, I had a chicken like this one here. At first, it had a wood. I think I, it had been pecked by the birds. So I had to separate it. When the wood got healed, I just returned it to the frog. And I think the chickens thought it was a new bird. And it was pecked the following morning I found a dead bird. It was so sad for me and a loss to me. So make sure don't introduce a new bird to your frog. Parasites like lice and mites is also a cause because they peck their feathers and the blood will come out and cannibalism will start. Also mixing adult chickens and baby sheep can also lead to cannibalism. The baking can also minimize cannibalism. Also some farmers will say that even if they be the big their, their chickens, they still peck each other, but the baking will minimize cannibalism. Also birds staying idle 
can cause cannibalism. So hang uh, greens in their coop like cabbages, weeds, scales to keep them busy. To prevent cannibalism, start by identifying the root cause, such as overcrowding, lack of resources, or environmental stress. Separate aggressive or injured birds to prevent further pecking. Ensure sufficient space, feeders, and waterers for all your birds. I hope you have got something from this episode. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. The only way you can support us is by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click that notification bell so that you never miss any upload. Comment down below and your comments will be highly appreciated. Now we are not to 2,000 subscribers and this can be possible if you subscribe to the channel. Let's meet in another video. We learn together. God bless you.